You won't believe it. In 700 years on Earth, there's only one robot left, and a cockroach to keep each other company. A mountain of household waste, and humans have already escaped into outer space. The robot's name is Wally. The cockroach is his favorite pet. His daily job is to clean up the rubbish left by humans. He's been working hard for centuries. This towering mountain of rubbish, it's the work of the cockroach. As it works day in and day out, it's broken its tracks so many times. The little cockroach can't stand it. Luckily, he finds his broken companion in the rubble and replaced it with a track from its body. And after 700 years, Wally has also developed an autonomous consciousness. He likes to collect human things, like the lifeblood shield, a box with a big diamond ring, and his favorite thing is a videotape. Despite having watched it tens of thousands of times, whenever it comes to the hand-holding scene, his eyes are filled with longing, this endless loneliness. He has endured it for centuries. He wants to have a little friend by his side, but in the end he can only hold his own hand. One day while working, he finds an old fridge by accident. He cuts the door open with a laser, and, inside was a, a growing sapling. At last, there is new life on earth. He holds the sapling up carefully, in his bag to take it home, but on the way back, he found a red laser. Out of curiosity, he chased the laser for dozens of miles, then a million lasers surrounded it. Instantly the earth shook with sand and stone. Scared, Wally dug into the ground. He hid in the ground. When everything has calmed down, he peeks out carefully, and found a white robot, scanning the ruins. In a few moments he was happy to fly up into the sky, hovering freely in the air. Wally is fascinated by by this, but when he accidentally dropped a stone, White backhanded a shot, the stone was blown to smithereens, while he hides behind it, shivering in fear, but he still follows White quietly, because he was so lonely, but it didn't take long for him to be spotted by White, he was almost blown to death, and shrunken into a square box, White scanned the area and, to make sure there was no danger, before letting him go, and so Wally follows him around every day, trying to make friends with him, and while he was sleeping, he made a robot in his likeness, after all his hard work, White finally came to accept him, just then a sandstorm hit, while Wally rushed him back to the base, and then he took out his own collection, he wanted to share it with him, White takes the bubble wrap, happy to burst one, hey, it looks like it's pretty good, then he poked them all in one go, Wally takes him to see his favorite blodger again, I narrated the movie, dancing along with it, I didn't expect White to get too carried away after listening, he couldn't control himself, and then Wally slid into the wall, and then he took out the sapling, White scanned it for a while, immediately, he started to shiver, then the sapling was taken into its stomach, White went into a dormant state, no matter how much Wally called out to him, there was no response. What a good friend really is. Just look at these two robots. Wally is with White in the sun, hoping he'll wake up, even when it rained. He didn't give up. Despite being struck by lightning several times, he kept his umbrella on. As always, finally, he had no choice, so I tied the little white one to my body. He took it with him everywhere he went, and watched the sunset with him, but he never woke up. Wally had to go to work first, but then the airship came. It took white back. Wally went after it as hard as he could. He ended up on the outer wall of the ship. He followed him into outer space. Here he saw the vastness of the universe, and he reached out to touch the beautiful starry river. I don't know how long it took. The ship found a huge ship. Wally went in by mistake. Here he saw robots of all kinds, they were all working steadily, and many fat, bloated men, flying around in flying chairs, they hadn't been off the ground since they were born, all the services, the robots do it all for them, changing clothes at the push of a button, the robots will bring whatever they want to eat to their mouths, this is causing humans to become increasingly lazy, our limbs are deteriorating, Wally followed White to the control room, he met the fat captain, White brought back the news of the plants, it took him by surprise, because it meant that, they could return to earth, but when the captain said the command, when he opened White's stomach, the plant was gone. The master ship droid reported to the captain that White's memory was malfunctioning. The captain was relieved to hear that he didn't have to go back to Earth. He was immediately relieved. He told the droids to take him to be repaired. While he was too dirty, he was sent to clean it too. As it left, it shook the captain's hand. Some soil was scattered. The captain was very curious about the soil, so he had the robot analyze it. The results showed that the soil came from Earth. Looking at the beautiful picture, the captain was immediately intrigued. His eyes were full of curiosity and desire. In the maintenance room, Wally, who was not sure what to think, seeing White's arm being taken off, thought it had been hurt, then the head was gone too, he immediately sliced open the door with his laser, and rushed in with a vengeance, grabbed the arm out of the repairman's hand, instead, it fired a cannonball, and broke the switch in the maintenance room, here the malfunctioning robot, made Wally a hero, carrying him out of the maintenance room, but White and Wally were flagged by the security system, by the security system, they are hunted by all security, they take refuge in a small room, but they overlook, a little robot is holding a sapling, ready to be sent into space to be destroyed. It turns out that the robots are trying to, to keep the humans from returning to Earth. They had stolen the sapling. When White got the sapling back, he went straight to the captain of the ship. He revealed the sapling of hope. The captain saw the resilient little creature, determined to return to Earth, but the chief ship's droid chose to defect. This sapling is the hope of mankind, but the robots took the sapling, and threw it in the trash. It was picked up by Wally, 
who was in the boat. The robot tried to come up and grab it. It put the sapling straight into its stomach, but the chief ship's droid used an electric shock and knocked Wally out, and White was forced to shut down and thrown in the trash. Even the captain is being held captive in the command room. Is there no hope of returning to Earth? When White woke up, Wally's motherboard had been burned out. He searched the rubble for many motherboards, but none of them worked. At the last minute, Wally pushed White away, dragging his broken body towards the sapling. He gently lifted the sapling and handed it to White. Then he picked up his motherboard, suggesting that it could be replaced on Earth. Knowing this, White doesn't hesitate. With a princess hug, he picks up Wally and rushes out of the junkyard. They rampage down the corridor, soon spotted by the scouting droids, the ship's robot security guards. They're all out to catch them, and the trapped captain doesn't give up. He turns on the line feed and guides White. He tells him to put the sapling on the central console so that the ship would be forced to start back up and he took the opportunity to use the projector. He uses the projector to trick the chief droid and wrestled with it in a very difficult situation. Pressed the switch on the console and at that moment the people on the ship noticed the change. All gathered together, White, who had arrived, he immediately flew towards the console. Just then the chief droid threw off the captain. The whole ship tilted. The sapling fell with it. Everyone fell to the side. White had to go first to save the others but the chief droid shut down the console. Wally can only use his broken body, holding on for dear life. The chief robot saw this, the pressure is turned up to the maximum, and Wally can no longer hold on. His feet slipped and he was crushed. The captain was furious. He stood up with difficulty, trembling. He went towards the chief robot. He threw himself on top of it and fought with it. He finally pressed the shut off button on it. White rushed over to save Wally. Then people picked up the pieces, throwing the sapling to White. It was put into the console. The ship started counting down to return to Earth, and Wally died completely. After a bit of time travel, the ship arrived on Earth. The hatch opened. White immediately returns to base with Wally in his arms. He's an expert tinkerer. With a little work, Wally finally woke up, but he's lost all his memories. All he knows how to do is dispose of the Earth's rubbish. Even his favorite cockroach. Even his favorite cockroach was crushed under his feet. White took Wally's hand and sadly, and rested his head on his head. Then he turned to leave. Just then Wally grabs his hand. Both eyes rolled back and forth. It turns out he's just a slow reader. At last they can be together again. And the rest of the humans planted the saplings of hope. Before long the Earth is covered in greenery. In the film it took 700 years before a single sapling is born, when in fact, it took tens of thousands of years of accumulation to get to where we are now, a beautiful environment for humans to live in, but man is destroying it with impunity. With the rapid development of technology, both forests and oceans, in just a few decades, have suffered unprecedented damage. It's Evryon's responsibility to protect the environment. Don't wait until it's lost before you know how to treasure it.